everyone, today I'll be showing you how to create this really cool and cute bow ring or charm. Here's the charm version if you're wondering what it looks like. And if you're wondering, these bands are new bands from rainbowloom.com. I'll have them linked down in the description box below. I really love the effect of these gold bands. It's so pretty. So anyways, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And also, this is my remake of my original Minnie Mouse bow design. My last tutorial went super duper fast, so I hope this remake helps you out if you were unable to make this design using the old tutorial. So anyways, now without further ado, let's get started. So today you will need any type of loom. I'll be using a rainbow loom today. You will also need about 20 bands for the actual bow part, which you can see here is the pink part of this. And then you will need about 10-ish bands just for this middle part here, as well as the ring that goes around the back. So anyways, you'll also need a hook. Today I'm using a rainbow loom metal tip tuck, and you'll also need one seat clip. The bands I'm using today are the new RainbowLoom.com silicone bands. As you can see, I'll be using gold today, the metallic gold. And they give off a really cool sheen, as you can see right here. It's almost like a mirror effect. Then I'll also be using their silicone metallic white. This just um, doesn't attract dirt and stuff like regular white bands do. So anyways, now without further ado, let's get started. So first off, we're just going to start with our looms arrows pointing up, and we're going to start at the very bottom of our loom. Each time we put bands on, we're only going to be using one band at a time. So first you're going to go vertically on the left side, as well as the right side, like that. Then you are going to go vertically once again, And then you're going to go to each of the center pins here, and you're going to place the band going inwards on each side. Like that. After that, you're going to take a single band, move outwards here, and outwards again. Then you're just going to close off the figure. Like that. So we've created half of our bow. We're going to go ahead and do the other half now. So go outwards. And then outwards again. Next we're going to go vertically on each side. Then we are going to move inwards, and lastly we're going to connect back to these top two by going diagonally, and then diagonally again here. So your loom should look like this. And lastly we're just going to add two cat bands to the top two corners. So, you're going to take a single band and wrap it around one of the corners three times. So, one, two, and three. And do the same thing to the other corner. Single band, wrap around three times. Two, and three. Just like that. So, we're just going to start with our looms arrows pointing down. And first off, we're going to start by taking our hook and going inside the bottom left um, cap band. Then you just want to grab the next band here, if I can get it. Okay, and hook that inwards. Then we're going to do the same thing on the right side, go inside the cap band. And then hook that band inwards. Then we are going to go inside the center here. Grab this band here and hook that to the left. Then go inside here, grab the next band and hook it over to the right. Now we are going to hook the um, outside ones. So you're going to go inside here, grab the one remaining band that needs to be hooked, hook it upwards, then grab the bottom band and hook that inwards like that. We're going to do the same thing to the right side. 
sorry that was my elbow on the table and then hook this band inwards like that so you should have something like this now and we're gonna go ahead and do the hooking process again um, it's basically kind of almost like it's backwards now so go inside grab this band and hook outwards and do the same thing for the next one so that way you hook the two bands going outwards then hook this inwards here and go inside the right pin grab this band here hook that inwards as well like that next off we're just going to go to this top pin and hook the two bands outwards go inside again hook this outwards like that and then we're going to hook the last bands going vertically here just like that so if you didn't want to have to tie off and tuck in bands for your bow then you can add c-clips here however um, I don't like the look of c-clips on the bow so I'm going to show you how to use no c-clips and have more of a smooth finish so just go inside all these bands here and grab the bottom layer and hook upwards. Same thing on the right side. Like that. Then you're going to turn your loom sideways and grab the bottom layer. Make sure you're not going inside of the pin. Bottom layer and hook over the pin like that so you're tying a slip knot. Do the same thing here. Grab the bottom band, hook over. Then you can just grab the remaining band on the pin and give it a little tug to tighten like that and then if your loom looks like this then you can go ahead and remove everything off of your loom now we're just going to go ahead and tuck the bands in that are sticking out here so what I like to do is I like to go inside of the um, project stick my hook in through the side and just wiggle my hook through and then I can grab this band here and carefully pull that through continue to tug that Then after that you can just tug it a little bit to even out uh, the band so it doesn't get all scrunched up and then it's pretty much hidden now so we're gonna do the same thing to the other one you can also snip it off if you'd like but I don't recommend snipping it too closely to the knot otherwise it could fall apart and then grab this band here pull through everything on here sometimes there's a little bit of tension and friction so it's harder to pull through and then just tug on it so that way it doesn't stick out as much like that. So after you've tucked everything in, you can shape it a little bit, however I recommend shaping um, at the end of the project. But um, if you're just wanting to make a charm, then you can go ahead and just grab two bands. It can be the same color, um, I'm just going to use a different color for contrast. Um, you're going to take two of them, place them in the center, then you're going to uh, double loop that and wrap it around once again. So that way you've got a bow charm like this. So if you're wanting a bow charm, you're pretty much done now. You can go ahead and add links on t that hold on to this if you want to attach it to a bracelet or anything. However, um, next up I'm going to be showing you how to make a ring if you want to make a bow ring. So adding the ring attachment is a very, very easy. So I'm just going to start with my looms arrows pointing down and I will be using white for um, the ring that goes around and since my arrow is pointing down we are going to start by putting bands and we're going to go from the top down I personally need seven bands to go around my finger this does vary upon your finger size or anything but this is just about the size of seven links right here so I'm going to go ahead and put those seven links on going vertically so one two three four, five, six, seven, like that, 
And then once you've finished putting on as many bands as you need for the ring, we're gonna add a, a cap band to the very bottom. I'm gonna loop mine around twice. So one and two, like that. After that, you can go ahead and start the hooking process. However, you only want to hook um, half the bands. If you're using an odd number, um, like me, I'm using uh, seven bands, then you wanna hook the first three and then leave the next four empty um, or not hooked yet. So, go inside the cap band, grab the band, one, two, and three. So technically this link is in the smack dab middle of all of the links. That's kind of why um, you should use an odd number, however it doesn't really matter. Um, so now you're going to take your bow charm and you're going to take your hook and you're going to stick it inside only these bands that we wrapped around, which for me is just the white bands. So only stick it through those white bands there. Can be a little tiny bit tricky, but just make sure you've only caught on to those white bands there. Then after that, you can go ahead, act like the bow isn't even on your hook, and go inside and grab this band that is in here. Grab that band, like that. Then you're going to take your bow and slide it onto the band that's on your hook. So let me zoom in for you all to see a little bit better here. So you're going to, should have something like this. Let's see if we can get this. Okay. You're going to pull this band through all these loops here, like that. And get the band out of the way. So I twist it, get the bow out of the way. And then place this band right back onto the pin like that. So you've attached the bow onto here, act like you never even changed anything, and then you can go ahead and continue hooking the rest of your ring as normal. Like that. So once you've finished hooking, you're going to go ahead and grab a C-clip, attach it onto the last link, and then remove everything off of your loom. Then you should have the two ends here. All you gotta do is attach the C-clip over to the cap band here. And after that, we are now finished. And so this is what my bow ring looks like now. So anyways, I really hope you guys like this bow ring design. It is based off of my original Minnie Mouse bow. This is my remake of my original tutorial. I made that tutorial a really long time ago, and I went way too fast in it. So I hope this tutorial helped you if you were unable to make this bow ring or charm using my old tutorial. Let me know in the comments down below if you are liking this new camera. I know I am. So anyways, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if it helped you out. And also hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already find me on all my social media sites linked down in the description box below and I will see you guys later bye